at what point in your life do you, f do you file, in your case, do you file your physical exam? It depends. Most cases, I file it, uh, these are for green card cases, you have to do a medical checkup. And so uh, when do you do that? I normally do that when USCIS sends a notice saying you didn't submit the medical checkup with your green card application. And so please have that ready for the interview. Uh, and I have it there, but there's exceptions to this. If I'm filing a case that probably is not gonna have an interview, like the parent of a US citizen case, usually for me, those don't have interviews. I like to do that before and, and submit the medical checkup with it. But in most cases afterwards, but in some cases when I interview a, or do a consultation with a client, they may have certain medical conditions um, that makes them inadmissible. It could be problematic. So I wanna get the doctor's results first before we file the case so I know exactly what the medical situation is with that person. And that brings me to a, a really important topic that I wanna bring up. And I've been, I fight doctors on this all the time. It's just ridiculous. When you're gonna do a medical exam for immigration purposes with a uh, civil surgeon within the United States, and you gotta submit a, a medical check with your application, it comes in a sealed envelope, it's form I-693 inside that envelope that a doctor, a civil surgeon, a registered doctor with USCIS fills so they can review your background for getting a green card. Now I always tell my clients, make sure, uh, make sure that you ask for additional copy of your medical because uh, the doctors make mistakes on this and we wanna check on that. We don't wanna go to the interview and realize there's a mistake and get denied or cause unnecessary delays. And you know, nine out of 10 times, uh, my clients just get an extra copy from the doctor, it's no problem. But one out of 10 times, the doctor will come back and say, no, we're not allowed to give it to you, we won't. And that's a serious mistake, because first of all, most states and most countries have it against the law and illegal for a doctor not to release an exam file of a patient to the, uh, to the patient. So they're violating that law. Secondly, uh, USCIS, in their training manual for civil surgeons, when the doctors get this registration, uh, they're told that you have to release it. And in fact, if you look at the instructions for Form I-693, first page, bullet number five, it says the doctor should give a copy to the applicant, to the foreign person doing the medical. And so I have to fight with these doctors and, and threaten lawsuits for them to release and do what they're supposed to do. It's ridiculous, it's frustrating, but it's very important to be aware of this if you're doing the case yourself, because you don't have a lawyer that's gonna call and yell at them to get it. You gotta be stern about it, and you know the sources I just said to cite, because it's very important to review their work. For example, um, there's a part in there of the vaccine. There's like eight or nine vaccines that you have to give, or the doctor could say not needed, or you've done it before, blah, blah. Because there's boxes and they're checking up and checking those off and they're in a rush, many times they forget to check one of the boxes. And so you wanna get the copy, notice that the boxes aren't all fully checked and give it to the doctor to fix so you don't have a surprise at the interview when the, when the USCIS officer opens up the envelope and sees one of the boxes are unmarked, unmarked. Now, most USCIS officers at the interview will say, okay, I'll give you a request for evidence and RFE, go to the doctor, fix it and come back. Well, one, some of those doctors charge extra money for that, so you don't want to get hit with that for a mistake because it's happening months down the line. And two, it causes delays. But three, the worst part is some USCIS officers, this is horrible, this is ridiculous, this is boring and evil, they'll deny your case because what the doctor did in the sealed envelope, which you had no knowledge of. And that's extremely difficult, extremely harsh, but some do that. And so you have to file an appeal, spend more money, more time, more uncertainty, potentially going to the immigration court, maybe thousands of dollars later to kind of fix the situation, when at the beginning, you could have just got an extra copy of the doctor's letter and reviewed it. And so make sure your doctors give it to you. I always say when you call up a, a civil surgeon to schedule an appointment, first thing ask how much they charge because the prices are so dramatically different up and down and they all do the same thing that the price shouldn't make a difference. Pretty much the lowest is better. Um, now, the lower the price is, probably takes longer for them to see you uh, or give you the results because they're busier. Uh, but secondly, you ask them, hey, do you, does your office release a copy of the results? If they say no, don't bother arguing with them. Just say, okay, peace out, next person. Um, but uh, you double check. It's just as important as the price because you have to check their work. It's very important to do that. You don't want to get a case denied. You don't want an RFE. You don't want that mess just because a doctor you know, wasn't paying attention. It happens, it's not like they're bad people, it's just they're busy or there's a lot of boxes to check. Mistakes happen, you just wanna check on that work. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please click subscribe down here and ring that bell to get the latest updates. Also, please follow us at the links above on these various social media sites to catch the latest information, live videos, and more to help you be updated on US immigration.